Right, let's let's give this a go. Here's our warmer. Okay, you get your standard polynomial. I'm looking for a division. You can do a long or synthetic if you like, because you notice it's monic and it's linear. <coughs> and then here, um, because it just says find the remainder, I could go through the whole division process and then I will pop a remainder at the end. But there's a faster way, isn't there? If all I'm after is just the remainder, I'm going to use the remainder theorem. Now, if you can't remember that, we'll get to it in a second. All right, so let's do part A. Let's do this division. I am going to do it synthetic because it is uh, nice and quick to do. I need my coefficients. So I'm going to write down 2, negative 1, 3, and 1. And what's this number that I write up front? It's a 2, right? That corresponds to this number in here. If I had asked you to divide by x plus 2, what number would have gone out the front? Negative 2. It would be negative 2, exactly. It's always flipped around, okay? And by the way, that, that flipping around, flipping around, is why as we go through synthetic, you add instead of subtracting. You notice in long division, you subtract one line, subtract one line, subtract one line. Because we've turned this backwards, that makes all the subtractions additions. Okay? So, now we're ready to go. What's the first step? What do I do with that first number? I'm going to down. I just write it down. Okay. And then here comes that repeated step, the part that gets us all of the resulting coefficients. So I'm going to multiply and add, which gives you three. I'm going to multiply and add, which gives you nine. Last one, 18 and 19. Okay, so now I have a bunch of numbers. How do I interpret this? What does it actually mean? I'm going to have um, I'm going to have a new polynomial down here and a remainder, right? Think. What's the degree? What's the degree of this polynomial we started with? Look at the powers. The the degree is three. That's the biggest power I can fit in there, right? Degree three, and the degree of what I'm dividing by. That's that's actually x to the power of one, right? So when you divide degree three by degree one, you end up with degree two. two. You use your index laws, right? So, good morning. So here, this first coefficient must be an x squared. That's that degree that I'm after. So this is a two x squared. Then you've got your three x, your nine, and what's that number on the end? Remainder. There's the remainder. Excellent. Okay. So there you go. There's the division. Now part B. I have left myself precariously little space but that doesn't matter because you don't need much space to do this. This is part A. For part B, the remainder theorem is, you might notice, um, this number at the end, right, if I had just put in uh, x equals 2 into here, you would have gotten, let's, let's just quickly crunch this out, right, you would have gotten 2 times 8 minus 2 squared which is 4 plus 3 times 2 which is 6 plus 1, okay, so you're getting 16 take away 4, which is 12, plus 7, which is 19. That's the remainder I ended up with, right? So in order to find the remainder directly, all you need to do is substitute in the opposite of this number, just, just like we did here, right? The opposite of this number is the key. So therefore, I'm going to substitute in P of what will be the opposite of the number? It'll be negative 3, very good. So I'll pop that in, and this is just going to straight out give me the remainder okay i'm going to do one line to indicate my substitution and then pretty much from there i'm going to reach for my calculator okay you don't need to do this stuff in your head like i did it in my head because the numbers were easy and i don't have a calculator in my head but you have a calculator there so if you haven't already get it out and let's quickly write down the line so substitute again that's two times what is negative three cubed be careful it's negative right you're gonna have three minus signs good morning 3 minus 9, so it'll be negative 27, right? Good. Uh, negative 3 squared is going to be 9, so minus 9. Uh, 3 times negative 3 is minus 9. And plus 1. There you go. Now, 2 times, I mean, okay, like I said, we can do this part with our calculators. Um, minus 54, minus 18, plus 1. Has someone already got it? Someone got the number? Oh wait, because I haven't got my calculator out. <laughs> yes, see, it's minus 71, I think. Yeah? Cool. There you go. Happy times. There you go. Remainder, no division necessary. That's the whole point of using results like the remainder theorem. Okay?